Yes, hello there guys, girls, people of the internet and the YouTube gaming community. My name is Beepo Gaming, and today I'm bringing you guys another video on Assassin's Creed Syndicate and this is your guide to everything we know so far. So this video is going to have every single bit of information we already know about Assassin's Creed Syndicate and when we get to some spoilery bits, i.e. the storyline, well parts that we know, I will put a massive spoiler tag on the video and I will also say it, so if you guys want to you can skip or you can click off the video, whichever you guys want. So first of all, these are going to be different sections, you know, i.e. release information, the protagonist, the city of London, and so on and so on. So let's get straight on to the first section. Now the release information. The game releases on PS4 and Xbox One on October 23rd, 2015. The PC version will be released later in the full. There are no plans to release on older formats. They are playtesting for uh, far earlier this year to try and prevent a repeat of Unity's launch, i.e. they were doing the little AC Syndicate shows, you know, in London, Paris... Uh, America, yeah, and different countries around the world. Also, they've done it at E3. They also are doing it at GamesCon and maybe at Eurogamer slash PAX Prime. Now, the protagonist. For the first time in the series, we will be playing as two historical protagonists, the assassin, the assassin twins Jacob and Evie Fry. The game is primarily set in 1868 Victorian London. In main missions, you will only be able to play as one of the two, with missions dedicated to both characters i.e. you know Jacob will get basically 75% of the story whereas Evie will get about 25-20. Both characters have their own skill trees to upgrade, Jacob favours combat, Eve Evie favours stealth. The confirmed arraignments include a Kukuri knife, cane sword, hidden blade, throwing knives, revolver, brass knuckles, hallucinogenic dart and smoke bombs. A lot of Jacob's animations have been reused from Arno, presumably to save development time. It is confirmed that we will also experience Jacob and Evie through the Helix software, thus negating the need for a blood relative within an animus. Which is a bit crap, I wanted like, you know, a blood relative, but whatever. <laughs> the City of London. Buildings will be much taller and wider than in previous titles, with the city itself expected to be larger than Paris. There are large interiors within buildings this time, and in an effort to improve the engine performance relative to Unity. There will be no underground tombs, such as the ones in AC Brotherhood. The city is separate into districts, all currently under Templar control. Utilising your street gang, the rogues, you will reclaim the city district by district. As you claim more district, districts, yeah, districts, the rogues will appear in greater numbers throughout the city. More activities will also unlock. You can take gang members around with you in small groups. Children can be seen throughout the city. Creepy laughter unconfirmed at this time. There will apparently be random events across the city. A king to Unity's. Hopefully not as much because Unity's scheme was just oh, it was so cluttered. Black Box missions, you know, Black Box assassinations are back, i.e., being able to approach the target in various ways. Police patrol the streets and ride carriages. They can also take you down if you look at them wrong. <laughs> Crowds are smaller, one assumes to again aid engine performance. Some ambient NPC dialogue appears to have been reused from Unity. This may be the pl being placeholder for the demo though. You can invest and upgrade liberated districts with variety aspects of the city, such as bribing the police force to assist the rooks against rival gangs. There's a new f there's a fight club, and it is assumed that we can fight within this from the concept art. There will be carriage racing as well, which can we place bets on, no info on whether the players can race. As well as haystacks, there will be stacks for leaves to land into. So you know, if haystacks weren't you know, destined to break your bones, so we can jump in leaves. Combat. The combat system has been adjusted for increased speed of attacks, faster dodges, parries, and counters. It is possible to break opponent's limbs mid-combat. Contextual attacks using the environment are being expanded, such as the able ability to slam opponents against walls. There's an improved chain kill system allowing multiple kills on the fly. You need to weaken several opponents first to trigger these combos. There is a stun button for larger enemies. The counter button can be used to dodge bullets and whilst running away. You know, like Matrix. Jacob and Evie may have different animations for finishers. You can free aim with ranged weapons, but damage to specific limbs does not appear to do contextual damage. Hidden Blade combat is not returning, they instead will be used as finishers only. The human shield mechanic is to return, but it was apparently not in the gameplay demos. If you run out of medicine, NPCs can execute you with unique finishers, police will drag you away down the street. Stealth. The twins can enter stealth mode, pulling up their hood and switch into a crouched posture whilst stationary. All other animations are still the same. Whilst crouched, you can apparently move around to cover much faster. This has to be triggered manually. 
the Bristol mechanic is back. Hard snap cover from Unity has been replaced but with a softer cover mechanic to allow more fluid stealthing. Corner assassinations are still possible. Throw knives will make a sound when thrown against the ground or walls. This will attract the enemies. Distractions have been added, such as heavy banging items that can be cut down to both attract enemies or for timely assassinations. Berserk darts are now renamed to hallucinogenic darts. If shot into open fires, they can burst and cause a cloud that can affect multiple enemies at once. You can once again carry and hide bodies, they can be retrieved back from cover. Eagle Vision has been updated, allowing you to see the architecture type of enemies now. It no longer has a cooldown and remains active until you turned it off. The disguise ability has been removed from the game, which is good because that was just a stupid ability. The last location ghost mechanic returns when you break line of sight in chase and combat. Navigation. The parkour system has been revised to try and prevent players accidentally attaching to objects whilst free running and feels heavier with the gravity playing a part. There are more parkour options, such as being able to clamber across signage. The twins have a rope launcher on their gauntlet that allows you quickly to ascend buildings or zip line across to other buildings. This will aid movement across the city and prevent players having to slowly descend one building to climb another, purely in order to cross the much wider streets. Carriages are a major addition and are able to be stolen from existing drivers. Carriages can be fought on top of, where the horses continue to navigate to your target. They can also be used for stealth, ramming other carriages, driving into other people, have a full damage system and can transport your guns while on the move. Whilst they're mobile, they can act as a haystack allowing occupants to be dragged inside and assassinated. Horses will bolt if you fire a gun at or near them, this will pull any attached carriage away with them. Equally, you can fight enough of pursuing carriages with the same trick. Horses can also be killed outright, stopping carriages. Trains have been added to the open game world and can be rode on or fought on top of. They can also be entered and have interiors. Varied boats are shown up on the River Thames, not confirmed if we can sail there. The assassins appear to have a mobile HQ in the form of a train, as well as the Seven Public Bells, Seven Bells Public House. It is apparently easier to navigate into Windows this time. Multiplayer. For the first time since Assassin's Creed 2 in 2009, there will be no multiplayer component. They intend to focus entirely on the single player experience for this installment to ensure a higher quality game. There are main, there are main plans for multiplayer within the Assassin's Creed franchise, but they are not, the, <laughs> not prepared to talk about them just yet. Sound. There will be more contextual sound music from the game mode, such as choirs and local musicians. There appears to be some ambient music, though this may be music from missions. The soundtrack is composed by a male composer, they are apparently from London, born or lives in, it was apparently an honour for him to work with it. Jacob Fry is voiced by Paul Amos, Evie Fry is voiced by Victoria Atkin, Henry Green is voiced by Jazz Dio, and Clara Odia is voiced by Amara Faulkner. Game Systems The Right Room loading screen has returned, Right Room Confessions are apparently back, Murder Mystery, Side Missions are back, renamed Dreadful Crimes, it's part of a penny dreadful literal of the time. Other confirmed side missions include stronghold assaults, train hijacks, and factory raids to save children. Some missions will, ad will adapt depending on your performance though, e.g. lose a tail, you have to re-find them. Optional objectives are back, 100% sync lovers. Both twins have their own outfit and weapon customization options, but it will not be as in-depth as Unity's. There will be stats and perks though, Jacob has a varied of hacks, and Eevee has varied capes. Helix credits are confirmed to the turn, one issue is microtransactions as well. An XP system returns and it's associated with Henry Green, when you, when the, which you can increase by completing assassin related activities, doing so unlocks new weapons and likely other options. Medicine returns as a health resource, full dynamic weather returns, only rain confirmed just far, there will not be seasons though. No notorious, no, no notoriety system and no confirmed information of rifts yet, they can't talk about that apparently. But guys. We are going to talk about the modern day, so this may be a bit spoilery if you want it, you can, okay? <laughs> the modern day. The modern day content will be more robust compared to Unity, and fans will apparently be very happy with what is coming. They are not prepared they are not prepared to confirm either way if there's a modern day protagonist just yet. On the topic of the crew out of year two, we'll see some familiar faces along with the new characters. More will be revealed on the modern day in the late summer, i.e. Gamescon. And also the first civilization. There will be first civilization content, <clears throat> and a new piece of Eden will feature. 
right now this is the story details and these are potential spoilers so if you guys don't want to listen to them skip ahead i'll have an annotation on your screen now if you want to skip ahead the lead writer is jeffrey yellowhome best known for best known to us for assassin's creed brotherhood corey may is contributing as narrative director corey has been one of the core writers in the franchise especially in the earlier titles james nadger is writing the modern day story component James wrote the lore for the initiative websites as well as the modern day for AC Rogue, which was a ton better than AC Unity. The game will start outside of London, this is assumed to be Crawley, the hometown of the twins where they trained under their assassin father. The twins' mother died in childbirth, their father, a martyr assassin, died of natural causes. The twins' motivation for going to London is not about revenge. The twins will work under a London mentor assassin known as Henry Green, who is confirmed to be the adopted son of Arabs Mur, which is the main protagonist in the Assassin's Creed Chronicles, India. Clara O'Dea is a child assistant to the twins. She is supposedly the spokesperson for the children of London and can organise couriers and spying missions on the Templars by the children. Two of the Templars we encounter are Bloody Nora and Robert Strain. The Templars appear to have their own gang, which are called the Blighters. Evie is the older of the two twins and may have some kind of link to the original Eve of Eden, which is amazing. Some of the crew of Outer Year 2 may feature in the modern day. Otzelberg will be seen again soon, though this could be for the comics. Charles Darwin and Charles Dickens will apparently be crest givers. Now here we go into like some of the boring stuff. We got the Uplay skins. Uplay and Initiate, sorry. An extra skin is available as a legacy reward. Note this clearly states skin, not outfit. Read into this what you will. An Edward Kenway outfit is one of the rewards to join the family promotion, currently US only. Free healer's credit is known as a reward, an extra weapon and armour for the twins can be attained as rewards, and there are no company information on updates for Initius or its outgoing state of maintenance. Now for the miscellaneous, a season pass will be available to purchase at launch, covering upcoming DLC that is currently being developed by Ubisoft Montepulla. There will be no companion app this time which is amazing, and various merchandise will be able to around launch including tie-in books, figurines and collectibles. So guys, that's all the information we actually know about Assassin's Creed Syndicate yet. We had information about the gameplay, the navigation, the storyline, the modern day, and even some Uplay and pre-order bonuses type thing. So if you guys enjoyed this video and want more, remember to click that like button. All of this information is coming from the forums.ubisoft. I will link this down below in the comment section and also in the description. And also guys, I'll be doing an updated video after we know more information about Gamescon. So guys, remember to be subscribed. I'm... I'm about 700 subscribers away from 4,000 and if we can hit 5,000 before Assassin's Creed Syndicate is released then that will be amazing. But guys if you enjoyed the video click that like button, comment down below what are you most excited for about in Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Bye for now and have a great day.